donors and develop their partners. Over the past 10 years, Africa has become top performing one globally, with governments showing great appetite for reforms. Africa demonstrates that good practice in reform exists in the region and repeatedly in place countries amongst the global top reformers. And we have, for example, Mauritius, Rwanda, and Kenya. And I think we need to pat our, ourselves on the back that we are among the top three reformers in Africa and within the top 20 reformers in the world. See, we have noted visible improvements both in reality but also as a way you know, in perception in how we are getting on as a country. Number one, as a result of what we are doing here, our exports within EAC has been at a three-year high at 77 billion shillings in the last eight months of this year. And this was reported by none other than the Business Daily on October 13th. You know, a lot of times people think we are, we, you know, we get, we pluck things out of, out of the air. We've seen a significant amount of increase in investment, both domestic as well as foreign, and, and, and that is to a large extent as a result of this. The number of companies that we have been able to register on a daily basis, and as a result of the efficiencies that we have, there's been a lot of revenue for government that we've been able to, to, to collect. We're very proud to work uh, with the World Bank in providing technical support. We've provided, uh, I think it's almost 3 billion shillings, more than 3 billion shillings through the process. And there's nothing that a development partner likes to see more than progress. And we've seen it over the years, and you'll have to wait and see what the result is today. But, but we're very, very proud of the progress uh, that's been made so far, and that you may or may not hear about uh, shortly. Our investment attractiveness has never been higher. Our markets are expanding faster, and we can now count on the most talented and dynamic talent pool in our history. Kenya is therefore at the forefront of business environment reforms in sub-Saharan Africa. The results for this year are as follows. We have moved 80 places since 2014 to this year's position of 56 globally out of 190 countries. We are up from position 61 last year, cementing our steady performance and rewarding the hard work, the commitment, dedication, and collaboration between government, our development partners, and the private sector in the business climate agenda. Our investment level rose from 350 million in 2013 to approximately $2 billion in 2017. Furthermore, we have made life easier for many of our SMEs who now just need an internet connection to register a company. This has increased our income from registration of new companies almost tenfold, from 150 million Kenyan shillings in 2014 to 900 million shillings in December of 2018, meaning that in this reform agenda, everybody is a winner. We collect more as government, and it is easier for the private sector to do their thing. We have also dramatically increased the number of companies registered daily, from 30 in 2014 to 200 by automating the registration process blocking thousands of brokers that thrive on illegal activity at the company's registry. As you've heard from Wendwa, there was a huge army of brokers around the registration of companies building that were collecting illegal levies from this or that in moving this paper or the other.